What's up everybody, welcome back to Scars and Whiskey. For our next review, we finally have made it to the review that we've been talking about uh, on Snapchat, on all my Instagram and uh, Facebook and Twitter and all the other things I asked questions probably about three or four months ago that I was gonna review the cigar, that I was actually gonna smoke it, it was gonna take the time. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, I am referring to the Woody, and that is this massive cigar. It is 21 inches long. It is a 100 ring gauge cigar. And from what I understand, it takes you four hours to smoke the thing. So we're gonna find out if today, if it takes four hours, and if I can make it through the whole cigar. I mean, you gotta look at it. It comes in its own box. Uh, I did win this a few years back. I'm gonna think it was like 2015, I think I won this. I was at a cigar shop that had clo that has now closed, uh, Baxter's of Phoenix, and they were doing an Oscar Valderas uh, cigar event. For those who don't know, he makes the Leaf by Oscar, and uh, Island Jim was there. He was being the spokes guy, and he's the one that actually uh, did the drawing where I won it. And as you can see here, I actually got him to sign the box, which is amazing. But let's go ahead and reveal this cigar. As I said, it is 21 inches long. It is a 100 ring gauge cigar. I mean, that's a big ring gauge. I mean, if you smoke the 80s and the, uh, and the uh, ogres and things like that, but I have talked to multiple people who have actually smoked it, said it smokes great through, it just takes a while. Uh, I can just imagine it looks like it would take four hours. It looks like it could be half a box of cigars on its own. Uh, if you bought a box of 20, this might be 10 cigars in one. I don't know if there's that much in there, but man, we're gonna try this. Uh, it is 100% Honduran tobacco. It is made by the Oscar Valderas factory. Uh, they call it the Woody. I know there's a nicknames out there, the Big Woody and things like that, but it is the Woody by Oscar Valderas. And we're gonna go ahead and get into it. I have really been working on this. I actually put this thing in a closet and not a humidor for a long time, almost a year and a half. And man, it was hard as a rock. So I have been working on it, keeping it in a humidor. I had it in a shop humidor. I've had it, uh, and it seems like it has came back. So we'll see how the experience is or if I totally screwed the scar up and it won't smoke or burn properly. But stay tuned, we'll be back, I'll have the unwrap and uh, we'll get into this. All right, everybody, we got it out of the wrap. Now, I had to get a knife because it was taped all through because obviously they don't make cigar wrappers as big as this. But I have to say, guys, it is very down towards the bottom it's kind of firm here it does get a little soft up here and spongy which it's from what it was where it was hard as a rock I think I did pretty good bringing it back it only took six months but like I said 100 ring gauge definitely getting that that smell of Pantoran tobacco getting a really heavy leather profile it actually it's hard to describe it is a familiar odor of cigars. Maybe it's just because there's so much tobacco, you get so much of it. There is a little bit of a spiciness, almost like a, uh, like, I don't know, like a spice cookie type profile. But I am not, man, we'll go ahead and get into it. Like I said, you can tell the veins, <laughs> for how big it is, the veins and the size of the cigar is pretty amazing. And for those who don't know, I went over the other reviews with Oscar Valderas cigars, but on the leaf cigars like these, these bands are actually crushed tobacco. So for those who don't know, if you really wanted to smoke through them, you could do that on most of the leaf by Oscar cigars. Now, not all of the Valderas cigar bands you can do that, but I do know with the, the Woody and the leaf by Oscar, you can do that. Okay, let's go ahead and cut this thing. See if I don't, hopefully my cutter's big enough. I'm guessing it is. It is a large and I'm doing a straight cut because there's no way a V would ever fit this. And it fits. Alright, so let's go ahead and Alright, it crumbled all over the place. 
but I did get a straight cut as you can see that is pretty amazing on that cold draw I'm getting more of a like a ginger snap profile a little bit of a earthy profile but I mean the draw is phenomenal it doesn't seem like there's any uh, pushback or resistance at all well with that said we're gonna go ahead and get into the first third and I'll be back right after this and we're starting let's see all right I'm just looking at my clock see how long it takes I'm at uh, I'm at a half hour mark so we'll see how long it takes me to smoke the woody we'll be back all right everybody into the first third of my monster cigar here uh, it is definitely a spice profile on the cigar, a little bit different than I remember from the Oscars, uh, the Leaf by Oscars. It might be too because it is such an old cigar. I mean, however long it took them to make and age it to begin with, and now it has been five years that I have had the cigar. So it could be as old as 20 years or 10 years or 20 years, depending on how they make the cigar. We'll figure that out. I'll just go with the way it is, but man, it is, uh, like I said, there is like a spice profile to it, a little bit of a leather, and there is a real earthy profile, like almost like a, I don't know if I can explain it like that, but it's almost like uh, when there's a dust storm or a rainstorm coming and you get that taste in the back of your mouth, the back of your palate, that's kind of what I'm tasting. It's not a bad taste, it's just not something I'm used to tasting but man it does definitely taste different than the leaf but again it it is also a lot lot bigger but we'll keep going through it I'll keep you standby uh, on this as of you can see just this little bit that's about 10 minutes in so uh, I'll let you know about halfway through how long I've been smoking it now I do smoke cigars quite faster than most so I might blow through this faster than most people, uh, but again, I might not, who knows? We'll see, and stay tuned, and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, welcome back for the start of the second third. As you can see, I have smoked it down a little bit. Right about here is the halfway point on this 21-inch cigar, and I have to say, I am actually really enjoying this cigar. It has a uh, like a spice profile. It's not so much a pumpkin spice, but a little bit of a nutmeg and cinnamon profile I'm getting on it. The earthiness is kind of go gone. There is really no strong pepper or anything like that because again, this is a Honduran cigar, 100% Honduran. And I have to say the only thing I've noticed, it has a great draw. It is really loosely packed in the cigar because I'm assuming because it's so big and so long that they can't tighten it as, as, no, as a normal cigar I mean it still burns good it smokes good but it's just not as firm as some of the other cigars that Oscar Valderas has it is kind of like loosely packed but it is good it burns well it is real flaky and ashy on the on the uh, on the cigar so if you are going to be brave enough to smoke one I suggest be aware that you might wear quite a bit of it, which I have already knocked off myself a couple times. But I have to say, it is a great cigar. If you are interested in buying it as a novelty gift for someone you know that smokes cigars, or if you're up to the challenge like I'm doing today of a cigar smoke challenge, then I suggest trying to get it. It is not a cheap cigar. It runs $50. I saw on Cigar Daily's website, for those who don't know, Cigar Daily does YouTube reviews and has social media stuff, but has a shop here in Phoenix, and they do uh, sell online, and that's where they sell a lot of their cigars. But you can pick one up at their website. I'm not sure. I'm assuming they have it at the shop since they do everything at the shop, package for the internet and everything and anyway. So they may have one there. You may want to call and check. Or, like I said, order one online, but it is a $50 cigar. It is a 100 ring uh, 100 ring gauge cigar and it is 21 inches and again right here is about halfway so I'm not even halfway through it but I am in the second third of the cigar as I would gauge uh, normal first second and thirds of the cigar but man it is pretty good so I'll keep at it 
stay tuned. I hope you uh, can enjoy knowing that I'm enjoying this cigar. So we'll be back in a little bit. All right, everybody. I am at the halfway mark on this large cigar. Still great profile. It really hasn't changed much. It's pretty basic throughout so far. The same profiles. It is a good cigar, but man, it is some work. But again, halfway through, I'm about an hour and 15 minutes. You might say, oh my God, that's pretty quick. I, like I said, I smoke them pretty fast. But again, I'm trying to pace myself, but it, it is burning really well. Because it is so loosely packed, I think it's burning a little quicker, more like a box pressed is what it feels like as the burn profile, because they seem to burn quicker. But man, it is awesome. Stay tuned. And I'll be back with the final third and my final thoughts of the Woody by Oscar Valderas, the 100 ring gauge, 21 inch cigar. All right, after this. All right, everybody, we're two and a half hours in on the Woody. I am starting the final third of the cigar, and man, I gotta say, it is awesome. And yes, I am smoking it. It seems faster than some say four and a half to five hours. It just all depends on how you smoke your scars, how you like them. But man, I am enjoying this. And because it's a great day here in Phoenix and it's quiet and it's and it's nice and cool and refreshing, it sure beats a day of the heat. So man, I'm gonna finish this. The third the starting the third is about the same profile. It's just it's it's a great cigar. I haven't much seen any changes in it. Like I said, the only thing I noticed is it's a real ashy cigar, but the construction itself, man, it is held up. I had to touch it up with some with some flame a little here and there, but obviously for being a 21-inch cigar, it's pretty amazing. But I'm gonna keep smoking through this. I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna get to the final third or to the end of the cigar, and then I will uh, call it a day but man it is great so stay tuned for the last part of our review today and I'll be right back all right everybody welcome back and I'm showing you that I'm almost done probably another 15 minutes and I'll be done with this but I did want to say again if you haven't tried it you might want to try it I know it's a little bit of an investment but it is a great smoking challenge cigar the Woody uh, by Oscar Valderas a 21 inch 100 ring gauge cigar man I gotta say I am pleased with that I held on to it and that I actually smoked through it but it is about well I'm close to three hours and ten minutes so you could do it three to ten three to four hours guaranteed if you're really ambitious enough but if you're not a very fast smoker it might take you a little longer I didn't stop, I went through the whole time, didn't take any breaks. Man, I have to say, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks again for all those who tune in the Sarai Whiskey. Uh, it is this cigar I'm gonna use as my review that hit 150,000 likes and on YouTube. So thanks again for tuning in the Cigars of Whiskey. Have a great day, have a great smoke, and I'll see you next time.